All right, homies, here's how you set up a Discord server. I'm gonna try to make this as fast as possible. Step one, you go to Discord. Let's ignore all of the unread messages I have. At the very bottom, we're gonna hit plus. You can either create your own or start from a template. To be honest, gaming is a pretty lit template to start with. We can do like for club or community and then add a profile photo and make a name. All right, and once we're done, we're gonna hit create. All right, so our gaming server is already looking pretty good. We have a general chat, clips and highlights, lobby and game. Couple of things. One, we're gonna wanna make this a little bit safe, so go to server settings. First up, safety setup. No verification levels, really sus. We're gonna hit change. I would recommend medium or high. I have mine on highest, actually. Also, requiring 2FA for moderator actions is pretty good. And if you don't want an NSFW server, I would filter this. So turn on filter messages for all members. Next up is auto mod. So I would turn on the block at mention spam. So for the limits for the unique mentions, you don't need to be mentioning like 20 people. 10 is fine, block message is good, and then you can also allow certain roles or channels for this, and then make sure you hit save. Another one you want is block commonly flagged words, so we're gonna go and click set up. I'm fine with profanity, but if you're not down for this, you can turn this off. Insults and slurs though, I don't want that in my server. You can also block spicy content if you don't want that, and then hit save changes. Now we're gonna want to go up here to roles, and then we're gonna create a role. So the default role is at everyone, and if you tag it, it literally will be like, it'll tag everyone in your server. The one we want to toggle off is actually this one. Nobody in your stream or in your Discord, that is, should be able to do at everyone or at here. So we're going to turn this off because if somebody adds everyone, it will literally ping everyone in your server that has that role and it can get really spammy really quick. And bad people will join your server, do at everyone and then like put shitty links. Another safety thing, if you are a streamer for voice channels, we're going to want to hit create channel. We're going to make a voice channel and we're going to name this streaming. Very important, you're going to want to toggle on private channel. If you have existing roles you want to see this channel, then it's totally fine, you can add them here. Or you can hit skip, and this will create a voice channel that only you and the people with the role that you added can see. When you are streaming, you should stream in that private voice call and not in a public voice call that any random person can join. From my experience, when I used to stream in a public voice call, I had people join in and they would say the N word and it was really scary. Be safe, don't do that. Here's how to set up a Discord server part two. In part one, I showed you just how to make the server and like set up safety settings. And now I'm gonna show you how to add roles and then a rule page. So first up under text channels, we're gonna hit plus. We're gonna make a new text channel and name it rules. I just like dragging the rule page to the very top. So that's the first thing people see. Now we're gonna hit the gear to go to edit settings and then we're gonna go to permissions. So for at everyone, they should have view channel turned on, but send messages should be off. And we're gonna hit save changes because we want people to be able to read the rules in the rules channel, but we don't want them sending messages in it because then they're gonna flood the channel and then all the rules are gonna get like flooded to the top and people won't be able to see it. Also, I wanna say there's like a way to make a fancier rule page, but that only happens when your server is bigger. So it won't be an option when your server is new and small. So now in our rules channel, we're gonna want to go and literally send a message with all of our little rules. And then now I'm gonna show you how to do a react system so that people can only see the rules channel and they must react after reading the rules to then have access to the rest of your server. So we're gonna go back to server settings and then go to roles. So we're gonna go and create a role. This will be our new dummy role. So this will kind of replace at everyone in a way. You can name this whatever you want. And then if you wanna be fun, you can display a role separately from online members. Make sure that allow everyone to at mention this role is turned off. And then for homies, make sure that they have view channels turned on. And for at everyone, view channels is turned off. Also to check to see if your role actually works, mainly to check if at everyone can actually see only the rules channel, we can go click this role and then go over here and click the three dots to the right and then go to view server as role. So now this will show you how people who just joined your server who only have the at everyone role will see your server and they will only see the rules channel and they won't see any of the other ones. So now to get role reacts, we're gonna need to add a bot into your stream. The one that I personally use is the me6 bot. We're gonna click add to discord. It's gonna make you log in. So you're gonna want to pick your server and then click setup. You want to make sure it's going to add to your server and hit continue. So now over here, we're going to go over to reaction roles, activate the plugin. We're going to make a new reaction role over here. We're going to hit plus. So for channel, we're going to select the rules channel. So put something like this in this line here. Emoji reactions are fun. Pick your emoji and then select your role. For ours, it's just the homie role and make sure you click publish. So now it looks like this. And if you click this, you'll get the role. Oh, wait, sorry. One more thing before you do that. We're going to go back to roles. Me six needs to be on top. So we're going to drag it up there. And now we have the homies role. Final roles you should add is one like for mods. I like to display mods separately. I like to allow people to mention the mods. And I like to give them perms to move members, deafen members, mute members, screen share video, manage messages, mention at everyone. I should have gone the other way. What the heck? External emojis, stickers, and timeout members, ban members, kick members, manage nicknames, change nicknames, create invite, and save changes. And you know, it's really fun to have like a separate role for yourself. You can name it like whatever you want, king. We're gonna change the color. We want to display this separately. And in terms of hierarchy, the role on top has the most power and then it goes down to least. 
And then we're gonna want to give ourselves, you know, the king roll. Here's how to make your Discord server look cute. And part three of my setting up your Discord server series. So this is what we're rocking with right now. Like it's not bad, but it, it could be cuter. First up, this looks a little boring. The first thing we can do to spice it up is go to coolsymbol.com and there are a ton of cute little emojis and symbols, whatever, that you can copy and paste. And the second site is lingojam.com slash fancy text generator. And you can type a word here on the left-hand side and then on the right-hand side, it will generate that word in a ton of cool looking font. Just beware, text readers cannot read these fancy cool fonts. To change the text, we're gonna click the gear icon and then under channel name, you can replace it with whatever you want. So now we have this. We can also do the same for our categories too. So if you right click it and then go to edit category, you can also change the name here. So we can do something like this. And then if we go back to server settings and we go to roles, you can do the same for your roles as well. Now a huge fun part about discords is adding emotes. If you don't have any already, you can go to emojimaker.com and you can literally like custom make emotes. Anyways, here's my chicken with a taco emo, and then we can just go hit save and hit save now. And then we're gonna wanna download this. And then you're gonna wanna click upload and rename it. Now I got a little chicken emote. Another fun one I've seen people make is panels for the Discord. For that, you can go to a graphic design site like Canva or Adobe Express. Anyways, I'm in Adobe Express. I'm gonna go click custom size. I don't know, I'm gonna do like 300 by 100. I don't know, I cook up something like this and then we're gonna go over here to download and then we're gonna download a PNG with a transparent background, start download. And the way it works is you'll literally upload that panel as an image and then just hit enter and then you will upload this as a picture and then send your message in the next line below it and then it will stack like this. I think it's a really cute add-on. 